Hey, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Reading Pisces. Pisces, it is rain pouring. Oh, Thor, the god of thunder, is speaking. The lightning. Oh, wow. We're going to do a reading for you. Spirit is on point today. See if we can pick up on Pisces. We're going to go into the dark woods by Sasha Graham. Grab your lanterns, your flashlights, your torches. Let's go into the dark woods. Let's see what Spirit is saying. Mm. Spirit. Ooh. You might see some flashes come across the phone. The lightning. Ooh. Spirit says break them again. Well, let's do that. Let's break them up again. Okay. Hmm, Pisces. It's been a few days since we've done a reading for you. And I know you're waiting. So let Spirit speak. Let's go. Pisces. Let's go. I have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. Followed by the Three of Wands in the reverse. All right, Pisces, am I upside down? I am not. Well, wait, maybe I am. No, I'm not. You know, Pisces, what I'm feeling here is uh, with the Queen of Wands in the reverse and the Three of Wands in the reverse, you're just kind of giving up on your ship coming in. Don't have the passion for it anymore. Why? What has happened that you've lost your passion to believe that something good is going to come for you? What has happened? Come on, I want a good reading for you, Pisces. Let's go. Well, the Knight of Cups. You know, the Nine, the nine of Wands. This is, so, okay. So, we got the Knight of Cups and we got the Nine of Wands. I've given up my belief because someone hasn't come back. I've given up my hopes that a ship is coming in because the ship I'm looking for is possibly love. And I can't find it anywhere. It doesn't seem to exist. The Nine of Wands is just this, it, you get yourself talked into depression and sadness because why? Because, because I can't find someone to love? Because someone hasn't returned? Now sometimes we can talk ourselves into believing that this is what we need in life. Unfortunately, there are some people who still believe that without love, then their life is not worth living. Let's continue on, Pisces. Come on. I have the Ten of Wands. So the Nine and the Ten of Wands. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's hope this is in the past. This is just Nine and Ten of Wands. Yeah, you might as well say you've entered the tower. This is just feeling depressed and sad and lonely and heartbroken and God love you, darling, you know. And it's all because of the Knight of Cups. It's all because you put all your power and energy into one entity and not into yourself. Because you've given up, you don't have the passion for your ship to come in anymore. Well, my ship has sailed. I'm 70 years old now. My ship has sailed. There's, there's not going to be anybody left in, in my life. And I'm just going to be alone the rest of my life. And, and I, 
I would say I would think that maybe you can put your energy elsewhere. Maybe be a Knight of Cups for somebody else. Maybe go and, and work some volunteer work and, and be somebody's Knight of Cups. Be that knight in shining armor that goes to the aid of others. You got the star. Nice. Followed by the five of swords in the reverse. So, the star... Followed by no ego. And the Ten of Pentacles. Beautiful. Another card. And the Three of Pentacles. Very good, Pisces. Very good. Now you've got the possibilities. You know, every day holds a miracle. And that's what the star is. It's a miracle. The star is wishing upon a star. But the thing is, the Spirit's telling you, it's time to Five of Swords. Which means, let down this ego-based idea that you have. That, oh well, nobody's returned. No love has come. Nobody's brought a cup. And to think that that is all that Pisces is, no, Pisces is love. Pisces doesn't need love because Pisces is love. Pisces gives love. So Spirit is saying that there's a miracle that's on its way to you. And this miracle is the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. It's having the faith in oneself and the security in oneself to rebuild. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So, to let down the ego, because it's the ego, that it's just the ego that wants that wants the love, not the spirit. The spirit can go without love. The spirit will still thrive. And, and the more spiritual you get, the more people walk away from you. So the spirit doesn't need love. Spirit is love. So, to let down the ego of, well, all I need is love and nobody loves me and, and blather, 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 but find the security in knowing that you don't need that. Find the security in knowing that you can rebuild, but you got to let go of the ego in believing that uh, unless somebody loves you, you are not worthy of anything. So, find the security to believe. Now, the Page of Wands, followed by the Knight of Swords, followed by the Ace of Swords. Well, you know what? If you're going to cry for it, and if you're just going to have it on your mind all the time, that's exactly what's going to come to you. Now, there is a saying, what you put out there in the universe will come back to you. Hello, Uni. Hello, my friend. What you put out, you will get. And be it lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson. So be it. Come on, my friend. Then so be it. And sometimes we have to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat, and repeat. Before we say, okay... <laughs> You know what? I'm sick and tired of this uh, of this way my mind thinks and the way my heart is that uh, I, I need someone beside me all the time. I, I need to go to bed with someone. I need to wake up with someone. I need them there and I, and I need someone to be constantly walk by my side. And that is the body and that is the mind. And Spirit is telling you, once you let that go, once you let that ego part go, then you'll find the security of rebuilding. Now with the Page of Wands, Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Swords coming out here, this is some pretty fast energy. And it's fast mind energy. Now, there is this thinking, this the passion is not as strong as it used to be, but it's still there. 
and I don't really think it's for the past. I think it's just for to find love. I don't think it's for the past. So it might not be lesson after lesson after lesson after lesson, but it might be a lesson that you're not happy unless you're in love or that someone loves you. And it's time to tell yourself some kind of truth here. Page of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Ace of Truth. Now what's coming, or the Ace of Swords, Ace of Truth. So what's coming towards you real fast? is truth. There's some sort of truth that's coming. Now you might have already felt this truth, Pisces. This truth may have already come. You may have seen something on someone's Facebook or their social media that brought you some sort of truth. And this could be the reason why you're feeling the way you feel. And with the Queen of Pentacles coming out here, followed by the Three of Cups. So suddenly, out of the freaking blue, something happens. Now this could be the miracle that's been promised. All of a sudden, we're feeling the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Which, by the way, is three cats there. Three black cats. But these are good cards. These are blooming in the mind. It's also money, but not a lot, but enough to make one situated and feel good. With the Three of Cups, some sort of invitation, some sort of gathering, some sort of invite, celebration. Pisces, what's going on, my darling? And then we go into the Nine of Swords, followed by the Two of Wands. So the Nine of Swords, okay, so you got some kind of truth about some sort of celebration. Now hold on, fasten your seatbelt, darling. There's possibly you might hear maybe somebody getting married or somebody being with somebody. And with that truth, that truth hurts. Because it might be the person that you're waiting for. With the Nine of Swords coming in here, and this is a nightmare card. This is anxiety and depression and sadness and can't sleep, can't eat. I would suggest you not look at someone else's social media. But there's some sort of truth that's coming towards you real quick. And this truth is about some sort of celebration. Now, unfortunately, you go from the Queen of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords. You go on high to very low. With the Two of Wands, okay, let's stand at the crossroads. Let's stand at the crossroads here, Pisces. Now, when you stand at the crossroads, anybody can come and advance you. There's four corners. It means anybody from either side, either path, can come and visit you and maybe take you away. Well, we have the King of Cups <clears throat> and the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles and the Empress. So, what are you going to be at the crossroads? King of Cups, King of Pentacles, feeling enriched, feeling powerful, and feeling very emotional. King Neptune himself with the king of money. Great emotion, but is it big money? No, I don't feel it's money, I feel it's person. This is someone that can make you feel 
and can take your breath away. This is also someone that can cause you great emotion. This is someone you already know. With the Knight of Pentacles, this king becomes a knight. Switch it around. Male, female. This king becomes a knight, which means a grown-ass person acts very young for their age. They might dress very young. They might speak very young. They may be very, very playful. It may be childish, immature. Carry hit the floor. What was it? The Empress. Ideas. Hold on. Pisces, are you planning a trip out to the woods? Are you planning a camping trip? Pisces, are you planning to go to the cottage? With the Page of Swords, the best startup, and the Eight of Cups, followed by the Five of Cups. Who are you investing in? And are they worth your investment? Who are you hanging on to, and are they worth holding on to? Maybe they are, but for some reason, for some reason, it always ends up the same way. I got a feeling, Pisces, that if you're going out to the cottage or something like that, you just might meet somebody there that you know. Somebody that can turn your world into a, 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 beautiful, a beautiful place, but yet very emotional, beautiful place. The Bastardo coming out here, what I like to call the Bastardo. Deceptive messenger, never quite know what they're saying. The Bastardo coming out saying the Eight of Cups and the Five of Cups. This is walking away, but feeling very, very, very distraught about it. Now, Pisces, I don't know if you're going to meet someone there and you're going to decide to walk. And say, no, I can't go through this again. But deep inside, it hurts like a real bitch, man. It hurts. Or I don't know if you're going to meet somebody and they're going to walk away. But either way, it hurts. With the four swords, it's time to heal. Four swords, three on the wall, and one on the floor. It's time to take time for you. Strength card. You're going to need strength here, Pisces. I, I don't know who you have given all your... There's the lovers. But the lovers card is three. This is someone who's possibly choosing somebody. Pisces is a very painful reading. Now I've got Pisces out there that are doing so well and they're waiting for this really good reading. But I've got a lot of Pisces out there that are hurting so bad. And a bunch of new subscribers coming in. And thank you, by the way, for that. And they hurt. And they're looking for answers. And it's not the will that need a doctor. Hopefully, you guys that are out there doing well, hopefully, Spirit will give me a reading soon on how well you're doing. But right now, we're picking up on Pisces, who is just distraught. Distraught over somebody. If you're going to hear about some sort of ceremony, <clears throat> some sort of good time. Unfortunately, that good time is not with you. It's going to cause you the Nine of Swords. 
But then you decide possibly maybe going somewhere with friends or with family. I think I'm going to go away for the weekend. You know what? I'm just going to go to the cottage. I'm going to go to the cabin. I'm going on that road trip. Whatever it is, I'm going to nature because the empress is there. And the empress is nature. But there, I think you're going to find someone there. And this someone is going to make a choice. Now, I hope the choice is you. But what I'm seeing is there's pain and there's sadness on meeting this person. The moon card. So, whoever this lover is, whoever this one is that's making a choice, you're not quite seeing what they are choosing. Spirit, shuffle. See if we can bring it in a little bit clearer for you. Page of Cups. Well, they just might be choosing you. This is a cup coming towards you. This is a lover. It says you're going to need strength. Because what I'm seeing here is you're probably falling apart. You're going to need strength to know that this cup just may be yours, but you don't see it. The seven of wands in the reverse. It's putting the walls down. Possibly accepting. There's the wheel. There's your wheel. And with the wheel, your wish is the wheel's command. Your wish is the universe's command. You've been wanting it. You've been wanting it. But I'm going to ask you a question. And this is the thing that we have to understand when we think we're in love. So you're going to get it back. Three sorts. Are you sure you want it, Pisces? Or do you just miss it? Do you just feel a void? Do you just feel an emptiness? And you think, well, it's them. I need them back in my life. I love them and I miss them. Are you sure? The wheel is turning and it will bring it back. Four of Pentacles. Hold on. The devil. Codependency. A giant empath who just might believe that maybe they're in love. But they're not. Just meant to be an angel to come in and heal a broken wing, but instead they tried to heal everything. You'll get your wish. Your wish will come. But are you sure you want it? My grandmother used to say, be careful what you wish for. Because you just might get it. And so, all this going on here, of feeling nobody loves me, I'll never find love, I want someone to love, and Spirit's telling you, you got to let go of that ego thing. you got to tell yourself some sort of truth. Now, I don't know what you're going to see on social media, but it's going to friggin' tear you down. And so it's best not to look. It's going to tear you down, but you're going to run into this person again. Especially if you're thinking about going somewhere, you're going to run into this person again. And the universe will grant you your wish. Because that's what you're putting out there. I want them. I want them. I want them. Well, you'll get it. Ask yourself why you want them. 
Is it to fill the void? Is it because you just can't bear to have them be with somebody else? Why do you want them? Because when I got the Three of Swords and the Devil, it goes a lot deeper than you think. It's time to really search within yourself and ask yourself some hard questions. I see, so let's see who's here in your reading. Capricorn, Virgo, Leo, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, Sagittarius, Spirit, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius. All signs are on the board, but these are the signs that are prominent in your reading. Time to do some soul searching, some deep thinking. What is it? that I truly miss? What is it that I need to find my fulfillment? I want to thank you for joining me today. And um, I, I hope Pisces that are well, I hope I get a reading come for you soon. Some real good stuff. But in the meantime, you're moving forward. I'm proud of you. Keep going. If you like the way I read, please like and share. Spirit and I would really appreciate that. And before you go, reach back and hit the subscribe button. Spirit and I would really appreciate that too. And don't forget to ring that bell in hopes that you'll be notified the next time that Spirit and I are in the room to speak with you. I may blow out my candle or my Turn off my flashlight and douse the flames. Let's come out of the dark wood. Namaste.